After an impressive win on the weekend against Brisbane, Collingwood coach Nathan Buckley was back at the Westpac Centre today, covering all the big issues in his press conference, including the injury to Steel side bottom, possible inclusions for this week's game against Adelaide and the AFL's illicit drug policy. We saw the surgeon yesterday, and um, we'll get the pin put in today, I believe. Um, and then it's just a matter of recovery. Um, allowing enough time for the bone to heal. He's fit enough as it is. He's had a really strong pre-season. He'll stay fit, running fit, and as soon as that hand's ready to go, so will he. With key injuries to side bottom and Levi Greenwood, Buckley is hoping the depth of his young midfield will stand up with strong performances from several players in the VFL and Ben Reid making his return in the coming weeks. Sam Dwyer, Tim Broomhead, Paul Seedsman, Darcy Moore and Joe and Marsh were very good down back. Those five guys are probably probably sort of the ones that perform the best. But Reid will play this week. Now, we think we're managing him really well. I mean, externally, clearly, you know, there's a there's an impatience to see him up and about. But we've said all along that you know, we're ready to play when he's ready. The coach also had the chance to reflect on the performance against Brisbane and the win in tough conditions. Yeah, we knew that we're, our boys were tired. You know, the, the conditions up there got a hold of us, to be honest. And we we're off our legs pretty much, pretty much from yeah, half time. Um, but yeah, no, we've, um, we were able to hold on solid leadership out in the field, which was which was great to see. And um, thought, you know, Tom Langdon, Alan Turvey, Jared Blair, to, to name a couple that just had really special efforts in that last sort of five, six minutes to find something when they didn't have anything. Um, really good result for us. The focus for Buckley now shifts towards the game against Adelaide, led, of course, by Taylor Walker. Taylor Walker's he's not the only player in this side. You know, we say it every week, but... Um, yeah, well, we've got a, we've got a midfield to look after first and foremost. Um, yeah, they're, they're, run, they're running off their back line really well um, and their forwards are all dangerous. And lastly, the coach spoke of the situation surrounding Josh Thomas and Lockie Keith and the AFL's illicit drug policy. I was about them, but um, yeah, just to check how they're going and how things are. And not about the details or specifics, but yeah, just to, just to provide support to the Barmies in constant contact with their management and um, and their legal representation, but you know, we don't have anything at this stage. Purdy's been on record you know, from a fair while ago that, that we haven't been comfortable with the illicit policy as it as it stood and as it stands. But as a club, you know, we've we've always said that we don't feel like we're getting enough information. We're um, we don't feel like we're trusted to with that information to make the right decisions. Um, for our players and to hold them accountable to good and bad decisions and we, we need to have that um, opportunity and we need to be trusted with that.